Good morning, viewer. Bien this here. That's a breaking news. Here, yeah, according to a study conducted by E. C. San Francisco and the San Francisco V Healthcare System, approximately 13% of older adults have been diagnosed with traumatic brain injury that is called TBI, typically resulting from falls at ground level. Researchers followed about 9,200 Medicare enrollees whose average age was 75 at the start of the study and found that contrary to other studies of younger people being female, white, healthier and wealthier was associated with higher risks of TBI. The study was recently published in the journal JAMA Network Open. The researchers led by first author Erika Kornbrad, PhD of the UCSF Department of Psychiatric and the San Francisco VA Healthcare Systems tracked TBI Medicare claims of participants enrolled in the health and retirement study, a long-term study of a representative sample of older Americans. While TBI can be successfully treated, these injuries increase the likelihood of a number of serious conditions including dementia, Parkinson's disease and seizures as well as cardiovascular diseases and psychiatric conditions like depression and anxiety. The number of people 65 and older with TBI is shockingly high, said senior author Raquel Gardner, MD, formerly of the UCSF Department of Neurology and the San Francisco VA Health Care System. We need evidence-based guidelines to inform post-discharge care of this very large Medicare populations and more research on post-TBI dementia prevention and repeat injury prevention. The researchers sought to identify the factors that made some patients more vulnerable than others during a follow-up period of up to 18 years. Earlier, TBI study have found that males, non-whites and those of lower socioeconomic status were more likely to be diagnosed with TBI but the current study found that females and whites are overrepresented among the 1148 participants with TBI with 58% of the HRS participants were female and 84% were white. Among those with TBI the figures were 64% and 89% in addition 31% of those with TBI were in the highest quartile of wealth while 22% were in the lowest. Be in this exclusive report.